So in this video, I'm just going to talk about harvesting times and how to harvest pears. Um, here you can see a shot of my espaliered apple trees and pear trees. Um, in the foreground, we have some golden delicious apples. And then in the background, we have the bosk pears right here. Um, you can see one with my hand there. So the bosk pears are still hanging on the tree at this point. Um, we are in uh, August 20th or so. I've already picked the two lower levels of that espalier tree, which had green Bartlets and red Bartlets. Um, the reason those get picked earlier is because they ripen earlier. So you will want to check online for a chart on ripening. Um, bosk pears hang on the tree longer um, and they're more of a storing pear. So the thing about pears is everybody knows a crisp ripe pear is soft, you know, uh, you, you, you buy it from the grocery store, you put it on your counter and it's soft when it's ripe. Um, but that's not how you pick it. Unlike an apple where you could pick it, you could eat a bite and see if it tastes sweet and tastes good. Pears, you need to pick them when they're still firm or the core of the pear will rot. So in this case, I've already picked the green and red Bartlett's and they're being stored in a high humidity, low temperature environment, which I'll show you, I'll give you a shot of now. Um, that's my fridge um, where I'm storing them in a plastic bag with some holes cut in it. It's not ideal. It should be about one Celsius, but in this case, it's about two to three Celsius. I've got my fridge turned down as low as it'll go. Um, and they could be stored in there for weeks, probably months without a problem. Um, and they really should be stored at least a couple weeks. Um, and then you take them out one at a time or two at a time or however many you're going to eat, put them on the counter, just like if you bought them from a grocery store, and let them have a week, week and a half, until they're nice and soft. You, you hold the pear, you, you feel it with your thumb. If it's nice and soft, it's ready to go. And you'll actually see the, cha the color of the pear change dramatically. If you're having trouble getting them to ripen, go ahead and put them in a, a paper bag with an, uh, a banana. And the gases from the banana will quickly ripen your pears. Um, so, what you're looking for to pick them is a mature pear, as they call it. So size-wise, it's really reached its full size, um, and it's easy to come off the tree. If you lift the pear up to a horizontal position, it should pop off its, its fruiting spur. Um, and at that point, you probably should harvest the pears um, and then put them into storage. The earlier you harvest the pears, the actual the longer they'll last in storage. They might not be as high a quality, but they will be pretty good and they will last longer. So if you're looking to store some for many months, uh, you know, two, three months, um, go ahead and harvest them even a little bit earlier. But make sure they're mature. Um, for a bosk, like you're seeing here, the bosk pear actually will get harvested later, uh, you know, later in the season and they'll last longer in the fridge. It's more of a storing pear. Um, and, and that's the case. So when the Bosch pear will probably be harvesting sometime in September and they will go into stores just like the green Bartlett and the red Bartlett. Um, and that's, that's basically how it goes. It's, it's, it's a strange thing. So you're not looking for a soft pear on the tree. It should be firm, very firm, uh, but it should come off its fruiting spur easily. And in which case it's ready to be picked and put into storage. And then you can dole them out slowly over time, which is nice about pears. You don't have to eat them all at the same time. Unlike apples, where you kind of pick them right when they're, fr you know, they ripen on the tree. And um, when they're ripe, then you're ready to eat them. So you can also store apples, of course, in low temperature environment, but it won't store as long as a pear uh, unless you harvest it quite early in which, and then put it into a controlled storage um, is what the, you know, the fruit packers do. Uh, but that's not what we're looking to do in our backyard. So thank you for watching.